Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. In Senzumi you was trial, a key witness of recent spat out some detailed information about how he stood up and followed the alleged killers of Senzo Meiwa and he actually followed them into a room. To his greatest shock and dismay, when he went inside the room, the light went off. And remember, in that room is where his own weapon was. Yo, I'm about to give you all some insider details, so do all to follow Jam Vibes, please. Like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video, and most importantly, guys, do all to share this video to the ends of the world. Share the video to as many friends as possible because that is really the only way in which you can show me love and support right now. In a basic improvement during the consistent Senzo Meiwa murder trial already, a key witness, Mr. Zungu, stood up some days ago to give a getting a handle on record of the game-changing night when the former South African public soccer star's life was claimed in the most unthinkable way. Zungu, who was accessible at the hour of the episode, saw fire that the charged individuals recognized as reproved one, two, and three entered the home in a consistent movement, appearing discernibly staggered. According to Zungu's statement, the three men immediately scrambled towards a room required by the late Mehiwa, and he was more or less like, yo, they looked so, so suspicious. In his exact words, it's not an I quote. I stood up and followed them. Zungu depicted, depicting the tension filled the second in the room. And uh, this second person was really so scared about just the unknown. He looked so suspicious. In his words, exactly when I went into the room, the light unexpectedly went off. The surprising blackout, as portrayed by Zungu, adds a layer of misery and interest to the case. It raises issues about the circumstances preparing to Meiwa's awful departure from this world and whether it was deliberate or impromptu. The arraignment should dive further into these announcements to uncover any normal perspective of an abnormalities. The starter of Senzo Meiwa's alleged healers has gotten public and overall thoughts since it began, with various energized for a fair result to be given in the high-profile case. Meiwa, a valued figure in South African football game, was sadly claimed and his life ended in October 2014. As the starter continued in court, the arraignment and defense will definitely look at Zungu's announcement attempting to choose the variety of his cases. The exposure of the lights going off at a significant moment the night of the crime adds one more layer of the unpredictability to this by the large significantly inspected case. Senzo Meiwa's life was a life of treasure, loved by so many people and appreciated for his great works, his great deeds and most importantly for the fact that he had an incredible and impeccable talent. And uh, this same Zungu revealed at some point that these intruders, alleged intruders, whom he said that might be these people, this 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 incumbies, because he termed them as incumbies. He said he was informed that those men are incumbies, right? Yes, he revealed that when they actually got back after allegedly claiming the life of Senzo, they immediately told him with almost conviction that Senzo Meiyo has passed away, and he was like, yo. How do you guys even know about this? Are you all on the blogs? Are you all bloggers? Are you all media people? Are you all Sendo's friends? Are you Sendo family members? How do you know about this? So he immediately rushes to the media to confirm the information. But then again, no media house has posted it yet. And it becomes so shocking a little, like more or less, how do you even know that Senzo has passed away if the media doesn't have it yet? You have no connect with Senzo, right? How do you guys know this? But then again, you discover that the next day when he slept and woke up, it was all over the news that Senzo Meiwa has passed away and it actually made him to believe that what he was thinking about this incambis is definitely linked up with Senzo Meiwa already because how did they know that Senzo Meiwa has passed away without Senzo Meiwa's passing making it to the media already? Anyways, I don't want to be judgmental about this and I want you all to tell me in the comment section what you think about it. I love you all from the bottom of my heart.